My name is Dr. Claire Lawrence. Um, I was born and raised in Salt Lake City, Utah, and um, I am a creative writing professor. I teach fiction, nonfiction, intro to creative writing, um, and graphic novels, and food classes, um, and all kinds of fun things. I got my undergraduate degree at Pomona College in Los Angeles. I got my master's degree at the University of Utah, and I got my PhD at the University of Houston. Um, well, I, Bloom selected me. I didn't select Bloom, it selected me. Um, the way that English professors get their jobs, you have to, um, there's like a countrywide meeting called the MLA, and so you go to the um, MLA meeting, and all the schools that need a professor also send people to the MLA meeting, and then you have interviews at this sort of giant meeting that's like somewhere centrally located in the country. So for my particular job, there were 700 applicants and I was sort of the top applicant out of those 700 applicants because there aren't tons of jobs for creative writing. But I've heard that it's actually even harder now to get a creative writing. It's more like 2,000 or a creative writing professor job. It's like 2,000 people applying for every particular spot flying. When I was a little kid, I really wanted to fly and I was this like crazy risk taker. Um, after that came drawing. I really adored drawing. I always wanted to be like some kind of an artist. So um, I think I started out as someone who was, you know, really willing to take risks and someone who wanted to um, to make art of some sort. And then when I got to school, my teachers noticed that I wrote really, really well. I'd always be like in above grade level classes and I told stories and lies and stuff like that all the time. I was just constantly telling stories. So I think it kind of evolved from that. Well, my favorite author is Alice Munro. Um, and I actually, I remembered what my favorite Alice Munro book is and it's called Dear Life. It's actually the most recent one that she did. So. Dear Life by Alice Munro. Another favorite author I have is Flannery O'Connor. I really adore her. Um, oh my god, I can't remember what my favorite movie is. I always have a hard time thinking about that. Oh, Wally. Wally was my favorite movie because I am sort of the crazy um, green person. The older punk, punk songs would be one of my favorites, like X's Los Angeles mm -hmm. from years and years ago. I also really like Dead Kennedys, which is again like an ancient punk group from the 80s that no one would have heard of. But mm -hmm. Holiday in Cambodia is a lovely song. Um, well, my favorite thing that I've written is what I'm working on right now, my memoir. And um, I just, I've just liked the whole experience of reaching out to people and having them respond to it. And actually, since we did the first iteration of this, um, my story has gone up online. And I've been getting all the comments from people about it. And it's really, really fun. So it's on a website, which is literarymama.com. Mm -hmm. And if you look at literarymama.com, it will have sort of my story there. And I've really, I've really enjoyed people, you know, like Facebooking me and telling me what they thought about it or leaving comments on the part. Wolverine! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I like, I'm so, I'm constantly going and going and going and going. I feel really guilty when I lie down. So some Sunday afternoons, my, husband's will take, my husband will take the kids out and I will take like a four hour nap. And I feel terrible for doing it afterwards. But when I'm in there, it's, oh. Um, I, I'm a really good mom. That's, I think, a really important skill. I'm really good with people. I'm like friendly, you know, and maybe a little too friendly sometimes, but most of the time I put people at ease. Um, I'm a decent runner. I can ski. I can draw fairly well. I'm doing that mural on um, the back of my wall. Um, I cannot fix a car or plumbing. Um, with Bloomsburg specifically, I think it's such a place for growth. Like when I have freshman students, they come and they're not sure what they want to do, and sometimes like their writing skills are a little shaky. But by the time they graduate, I would stack them up against you know like Harvard students because they come so far so quickly. And this education is really affordable. It's a really excellent education, but it's not something you're going to have to be in debt for for the rest of your life, like Harvard or something like that. Um, and I would encourage people to come and do creative writing 
just because, um, well, writing itself is hugely important, and I think it's becoming a slightly lost art in our culture. So it's going to be something that's more and more valued, conversely. And also, I just think it's really amazing to make art. And if you're someone who you know knows how to um, write poetry or write stories or something like that, you know, you have to do that. You have to follow your heart. Um, schnick. <laughs> I don't know.